Good morning. It's actually after 11 a.m. for me, and I am into my dry fast right now. The last liquid I had was around 5.30 yesterday on day two, which was Friday. And so I'm going to be adding some water back into my fast around five, six o'clock this evening. And that will complete a 24 hour dry fast right in the middle of my water fast. So that's the plan. I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. The worst is in the evenings. Last night, I just started feeling awful. I was like, ugh, and my body was just turning off. So I've been trying to kind of listen to that and dial it down and go to bed earlier if I can, but um, I, of course, wanted to try and edit some of these videos and get them out to you. So I'm working on those and I'm um, feeling, feeling pretty good. I mean, it's day three, um, about, I mean, halfway through already, day three, and I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling great. My goal today is to take a seated bath and to try and wash my hair. So it's getting kind of crazy and frizzy and I want to sort of get that tamed again. And, um, yeah, I'm feeling great. Um, oh, and Megan, Megan wanted to ask me a question. Let me look, pull it up for you. Megan on Facebook wanted to ask me a question. Uh, she said, when you water fast, how many ounces a day do you drink and what increments? Do you just drink whenever or how much you want or do you force a certain amount on a schedule? Just curious what your approach is. Um, honestly, I just kind of drink whenever I want. I'm just like, eh, I feel like drinking some water or, you know, I am just want to wet my palate or whatever. I, I'm not forcing myself. I'm not putting myself on a schedule. The first day I ended up drinking about a gallon and the second day it was a little over half a gallon, but I was, <laughs> I was really not into the water much yesterday, which kind of eased me into this dry fast. You know, whenever you have a little hungry sensation, um, whenever I do, whenever I have a hungry sensation, I just end up filling up on water and that feels great because I put something in my stomach and I don't have that empty feeling anymore. And so, um, if I, uh, I, I honestly, I don't, I don't recommend a schedule when you're water fasting, just kind of wing it, do it, do it as your body calls for it. Um, and yeah, I, I don't really, I don't have a particular goal in mind. Let me pull up another question. My friend Catherine Pern asked me on my fasting post on Facebook, uh, can you mention dry fasting in one of your videos, please? That's a step too far for me, although not for many I know. <laughs> and yes, absolutely, you can talk about dry fasting and I can actually do it for you. So I'm happy to, to say that dry fasting for me is much easier than water fasting. I, I really just, I enjoy it so much more. And um, it, it, partly it's because when you're not drinking water, you're not stimulating your digestive juices as much, and so you're not as hungry, it's not as aggravating. Uh, you just kind of go into a dry zen mode and just kind of coast through it. And actually, you know, and for you, I know you're, a, you're an MS warrior like I am. Um, I know you've been doing so many hydrating fruit challenges. Uh, I think all fruits, all sweet fruits with Orvel and um, also Grape Island. So you probably are in much a much better position to try dry fasting or water fasting than uh, most other people. I, I highly recommend if you're going to attempt fasting of any kind to do a ton of research and don't just take like my word for it or my experience or anyone's experience that you read online. Do a lot of research and ease in, ease out. And by easing in, I'm, I mean like doing what you're doing, Catherine, with hydrating fruits, tons of hydrating fruits only, and, and then whittling down your calories that way. But if you're taking yourself from like the standard American high fat, high salt, processed foods diet and immediately abruptly starting to fast, you're going to hurt yourself. That's just awful. That's a bad idea. And then when you're finished with your fast, ease out by incorporating hydrating fruits like watermelon or grapes um, and just easing out and, and slowly increasing your calories. So, um, yeah, I... <laughs> I don't recommend everybody trying this and I'll also put in the description of this video 
the protein challenge link, which was the um, prompting for this water fast and then dry fast, along with days one and two, and also the fasting debate video with Marina, where she's just very anti-fasting. So if you, if you don't agree with fasting, please feel free to agree with Marina and check out that video. And um, yeah, and now I'm gonna try, I'm going to attempt to take my very careful bath and wash my hair. And I'll update you later today about um, breaking my dry fast with water. Hey there, I wanted to update you that I have successfully taken a bath. I have successfully washed my hair and rebraided it. And I even got out of the house today. I went on a little errand with my boyfriend. We got some supplies for the house. And I also uh, accompanied him on an errand last night and uh, lifted some heavy bags of cat litter and, you know, I, I'm doing stuff. I'm still doing stuff, even though I'm walking slowly, a little more slowly and carefully and sometimes reaching for like a shopping cart for balance. But other than that, I'm still doing things. And I think it's really important to maintain a sense of normal uh, safely, but feeling normal is really important. Oh, and he was also eating grapes, some grapes that I had bought for myself, but didn't get to eat before this fast. And I had some serious food cravings for some grapes. And so we have now agreed that after this challenge, after I finish my water fast, that we're gonna finish up the food in the house and go on Grape Island together. We're gonna do a three-day Grape Island challenge. So, yay, I get, I get company with that one. I'm excited about that. Would you like to say something about that? Always happy to support you. Always. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Dead dog. Cause, yeah. Because laundry day. Because he did. He did. Okay, Odo, it's time to drink some water. Oh my goodness. Snout. You know, after going without water, it actually tastes sweet. It's weird, right? Oh, and it's 5.30 p.m. So I've now gone approximately 24 hours of dry fasting right in the middle of my water fast. So I'm going to get hydrated now and I will check in with you guys tomorrow for day four of the fasting challenge. And be sure to check out the description in the video for other links to the prior videos. Bye!